Like many young Hungarians of their generation, twins Esther and Gabor and their friend Mira are reluctant to talk about politics. <laughs> but on a cold Budapest evening, they agree to open up about a defining moment in their lives. The arrival five years ago of thousands of foreigners, many from Syria. In 2015, a tent city sprang up almost overnight around Budapest train station. Thousands of people had crossed the then unfenced Hungarian border illegally. Most were Syrian refugees. There is no problem with people arriving in Hungary legally. It will benefit us too, but illegal mass migration can pose a danger for us. I think that the young people in Hungary generally have a liberal worldview. However, when it gets to immigration, they share a conservative approach. Three years later, a survey on perceptions of refugees and migrants conducted by the Pew Research Center suggested more people in Hungary opposed diversity than supported it. The events here five years ago left a lasting impression on young people like Esther, Gabor and Mira. It also galvanized a new generation of activists in Hungary determined to stop what they considered an invasion. Abel Loni runs the Budapest chapter of the far-right anti-Muslim group Generation Identity. It reportedly received money from the Christchurch shooter. In the early 2015, I started to see placards what the government put out, like you can't take away Hungarians' job and so on, which is good messages. And the fence was built right after the mass passed, so I realized that, okay, the issue is still here and will be here, and I have to be completely active. Strengthening Hungary's borders has been a major priority for far-right Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Openly anti-migrant, Orban is now warning of a new crisis at Europe's borders and recently announced support for Turkey's efforts to create a safe zone in northern Syria. Syria, as well as that area of the Middle East, is especially important for Hungary for two basic reasons, that is illegal migration and uh, terrorism as well. Of course, we all know that Hungary is especially affected and was affected in 2015 by the wave of uh, illegal migrations, migrants uh, coming up to our borders. Back at the cafe, these students are less concerned with the political strategy being employed to tackle mass migration and more worried about finding work in a society, shutting its doors and building fences.